Welcome to the Black Ball, everybody. Uh, I'm so happy to see you all here tonight. It's, uh, you're a beautiful group of people, I must say. Um, first, let me thank Alicia. Uh, I think a, lo a lot of you know that she, yes, yes, yes. She ran the New York City Marathon on Sunday, and here she is hosting the Black Ball tonight. Uh, pretty phenomenal, I must say. Um, thank you, Alicia, for your incredible commitment to this movement. Uh, you've been at it for a long time. Uh, so here we are, it's uh, 2015, and the AIDS epidemic is still not over. Uh, sure, we've had a lot of successes, fewer infections, better and cheaper treatments. You know, but when I started this work over 20 years ago, I could not have imagined we'd still have so much left to do. Martin Luther King Jr. once said, injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. His inspiring words fueled the early days of the AIDS movement, and they inspire current movements around the world, such as Black Lives Matter or student protests in South Africa. Injustices surrounding AIDS still exist. Stigma and discrimination, unequal access to treatment because of poverty, and apathy. And Sub-Saharan Africa bears the brunt of these injustices. 25 million people living with HIV. Two million children in danger of not receiving the treatment they need. And AIDS is the number one killer of African adolescents. Number one. And this is why we do the work we do in Africa. And in, Ke in Kenya and Rwanda, South Africa and Uganda, KCA is working with amazing grassroots organizations to implement, to implement local African solutions to combating AIDS, community by community. Alicia and I see firsthand every day the direct impact our work is having on the lives of so many children, youth, and families. And we know our approach works. So I'm really excited about this evening because I've personally spoken to so many of you in the room here tonight and I know you are committed to helping us. Tonight, we can make a decision to take KCA's work to the next level. It's pretty simple. The more funds we raise tonight, the more children and youth we can help. You know, we started small in 2003, uh, and with the support of so many of you here, we've helped hundreds of thousands of people. We will not give up now. We will fight for the hundreds of thousands more who need our support. We will fight until this epidemic is over, and that will be justice. So, thank you. Partnerships with many of you in the room here have been critical to our success so far. And tonight, I want to highlight a new partnership with Microsoft. Uh, they recently went with, yes, Microsoft, thank you. They, they went, to us, went with us to uh, Uganda to document our work uh, with young people there uh, as part of their Upgrade Your World campaign, which some of you might have seen. And the video you are about to see tells beautifully the story of how young lives can be transformed through technology, young lives with the potential to transform their communities, and ultimately to transform Africa. Please take a look.